DJing as postmodern as it is, he was that kind of guy. He was like, there's nobody that was born to do that more than him, you know? Back then, DJ AM was the king. But he was the guy who kind of like take it to the superstar world. And then now you have this magnified, everybody's a superstar now. When he held the crown, he, um, he held it all the way you know, until he passed away. So he was always the king. He got asked to be the resident of Pure Nightclub. And at the time, he told me that they're gonna work on a, another nightclub called LAX. If I do this, you're gonna move over there with me and you're gonna be the resident of LAX. And he's like, I'm gonna get you paid. Like, and I was like, oh shit. His generosity in the way that he brought in other DJs with him and he opened these floodgates and, and, and brought with him a whole, you know, school, a whole colony of, of like-minded DJs that, that shared, you know, similar ethos and values that was extremely uh, unique as well he took along his homies for the ride that's what he was about like all of us got a shot and he was a man of his word and he took me there and he got me fucking paid <laughs> um and i was a resident of lax his club that he opened and that was uh the biggest moment of my life too i didn't know how he got my number but he changed my life because he called me i was doing comedy and he said, hey man, um, I wanna hire you to make a beat. Like when AM asked me to be part of Dexstar, I was like one of the biggest honors, I, you know, biggest honor that I've had, you know, to this day. And he gave me the opportunity and I'm from forever grateful because without that, like, I don't know, man, like that kind of like saved my life. I, I could have went in a fucking wrong direction. So when I say that DJ AM literally affects my life on a daily basis, that is why. Because he, in that moment, uh, changed my whole life. Which, was, which, he, which he didn't have to do. Which was definitely the best look of all time. Get to meet him, it's like, it's like some kid, you know, I don't know, like some kid looking up to Michael Jordan and then all of a sudden, like, the next thing you know, he, Michael Jordan's kind of like taking him under his wing in a way and just, you know, has really trying to help form him, not only as a musician and DJ, but as a better person. Any DJ making money in America needs to thank DJ AM. He opened the door for all these guys to make real money. He is responsible for DJs getting paid in America. He took pay scales for DJs to the next level. So AM really made the price uh, that DJs were getting go up a lot. A lot. I asked him as a favor to mentor my son, Ryan, and he did it with conviction and without hesitation. He gave freely of his time and, and his energy, so that was a very powerful thing for me. He taught me a profound lesson one time. <laughs> it's going to sound simple, but if you really listen to what happened, it's profound. He was on the radio show one day with me, and uh, he, he collected Nike shoes, you know, and uh, he had a cool pair of shoes on. I said, God, those are cool shoes. I love those shoes. And he would say, I'll get you a pair. God damn it, if he didn't show up the next day at my office with a pair of shoes. And I was humbled. I was embarrassed. Uh, I didn't know how to accept a gift like that. And, and, but here's the power of this. He said, no, no, no. I want you to have these. It's because of my ability, my opportunity to give to you today that I'll stay sober. He became my, my best friend, but he's also someone that I looked up to like, like a guru. He was like my teacher. He was my uh, mentor. I, I would be um, shocked if there weren't hundreds, if not thousands of people that Adam helped some way or another through his story get clean. Um, he was an inspiration. Unbelievably selfless. So if that's not important, we're all fucked. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah.